Well, hello and welcome to Jimmedism Total Nodary Channel. Today, I will show you how to update your graphics card. There are some different ways to check what graphics card you have. The easiest way is to check inside Windows. Click Windows X, hold Windows and click X. Then you find Device Manager. Click on Device Manager. In Device Manager, you find the tab Display Adapters. Under the Display Adapters, you can find your graphics card. Some computers, most usually laptops, have two graphics cards. One integrated from the processor and one dedicated. The integrated is the Intel HD graphics. Depending if you have an Intel, Nvidia or AMD graphics card, the installation process is a bit different. Look in the description for timestamps on how to install the drivers for your graphics card. Alright, now we'll check how to update your Intel graphics drivers manually. It's important to keep them up to date. Usually Windows Update does this for you, but if you have any kind of complications or if you stopped it, you can install them manually. Just do like this. Hold Windows and click X, then you select Device Manager. Inside the device managers, uh, you find the display adapters. Under the display adapters, you find the HD graphics, the Intel, right click it and select update drivers automatically and choose uh, search automatically online for a driver. Under the installation process, it might sound a little bit weirdly and your screen might turn on and off. When it's done, however, you're basically good to go and you have successfully updated the drivers. It isn't super important to have the latest drivers for your Intel HD graphics and Windows Update should fix this itself. In any case, if you have any type of issues with this method or you need to know you have the absolutely latest drivers, you can download them from Intel's page. Go back into the Device Manager and go down to Processors. Under Processors, you can find after the i5, i3, i7, i9, whatever you have, after this, you can see this little thousand. This is the generation indicator. The example is the sixth generation. Mine, however, was the seventh generation. I go to the page, link in description, and I'll go back to device manager and check under display adapters. Here you can find I have a 620. I'll click on that. Then we'll go to the page with the drivers. And here I can find my drivers. If you didn't find your drivers here, you can scroll down and view all. And there, select the one that is right for your operating system. Well, I had the right drivers, so I just need to go down here and see available downloads. And I click the exe file and select download. After I've done that, it's just a matter of right clicking it and run as administrator. Double clicking is usually fine and then you basically go straight through the installation process and it will install complete. We shall now look at a tool that can help you install drivers automatically, including graphics drivers. Here on this page, link in description, you just click the download page for Intel Driver Support Assistant and just run the file. Agree to the terms and click install. When install is finished, you need to click restart. After restart, you can in the lower right corner find the symbol for the Intel Support Assistant. You click on it and then you'll choose Check for new drivers. Then it will load for like a minute and after a while you can find all the drivers you can install. You can browse down here and see some details and stuff like that if you'd like to. Otherwise, you just click Download and wait for that little process. When it's done, you can just click install. And there you go. A pretty simple way to update drivers, even though this little background program will steal a tiny little bit of your processing power. But if you don't want to bother with manual install, this is a pretty neat solution. Today, we're going to update the drivers of an AMD graphics card. Search up Device Manager it is available in all Windows editions. On this computer, however, 
you can see that it's not really specified what graphics card there is, only the family of the graphics card. If this happens for you, right click the graphics card and select updated drivers and select search automatically on the internet for appropriate drivers. Let the drivers and install and you should now see what model the graphics card is. Now that we know that we have the 5650, we can go back to the page. There we have it. Now we can click Submit. Then we need to know if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. Now it's a little bit different for different versions of Windows, but what you basically do is you find My Computer, you right-click on it and you select Properties. Here you can see System Type, 64-bit operating system. Scroll down to your OS distro. When you found your operating system, you have your choice of Catalyst or Crimson. Most people seem to prefer the Catalyst edition since it's more lightweight according to some users. And since I'm on the low end system, I'll definitely choose the Catalyst edition. Then we can run the file. Select your language and click Next. We have Express and Custom install. Always choose Custom. If there is some of this you don't need, you can uncheck it. If you don't know, leave them checked. And of course accept. The install should now proceed and complete by itself and you should now have nice running drivers. However, if you had any issue, you can try two things. You can try to select a Radeon Software Crimson Edition instead. This driver in this case is a little bit newer. In any case, you also want to try and run the file ad as an administrator. By doing that, you select Save As. When saved, you right-click it and select Run as an administrator. And there you have it. Begin the installation process. Now it asks you, automatically download the latest drivers. This will install a software that will check for drivers and download and install them automatically. This steals a little bit resource power, but if you think it's worth it, check that box. Otherwise, uncheck it and install your drivers manually, which is something I'd recommend. If you don't want something here, you can uncheck it. Otherwise, if you don't know, just leave them all and click Install. Click Windows key X and choose Device Manager. Click Device Manager. Inside the Device Manager, you can see under Display Adapters, you can see what kind of NVIDIA card you have. Note that number down very carefully so you can see exactly which card you have. Then you go to the NVIDIA homepage, link in description, and choose that exact card as you had in your device manager. And it's important it's the same, like I had the 950M, that's the laptop version. So make sure it's the right version. Windows 10 is my system. Then there are game ready drivers and studio drivers. Um, basically everyone should just go with game ready drivers. Then you just click search. And then you go to the download page and you just click download. Save it wherever you like. Then you can just launch the exe file directly from the browser or you can just search up where you have chosen to save it. And then you just double click on it and of course agree to the UAC if it asks you and then also click OK on the extraction process. When the extraction is done it will launch the installation process. Here it will check your system's compatibility. If you selected the wrong drivers it will tell you here. 
Then you can see we have GeForce Experience and only the graphics drivers. Select only the graphics drivers. You can use GeForce, uh, GeForce Experience if you want to, but I don't really particularly like it. And it draws down your performance on your system a little bit. On Express or Customized, you choose the Customized install below. Check that box and click Next. Here we can see we have checked physics and the graphics drivers, but not the NVIDIA GeForce experience. We have something called a clean installation. This will remove some different settings you have set before. And this is a very good idea to check if you have any kind of graphics driver issues. If you don't have any issues, you don't need to check it. Then you just wait for the installation process to finish. It may take several minutes. Installation was completed and successful. You can now close down this window. Now you should have the latest NVIDIA drivers on your system for your graphics card. To download NVIDIA drivers automatically, you can use GeForce Experience. Go to the link in the description and press the Download Now button. Let the file download and then click it to run it or run it from wherever you can. And then you go to this page and you just click Agree and Install and let it initialize the installation process. When it's all installed, we can open it up and we need to agree to its privacy policy and stuff. Then you'll need to log in via Google, Facebook or your NVIDIA account, which you can also create. After logging in, it will optimize your system and search for some games. I uncheck it to search up some new games because I don't want to use it as a launcher. However, you can use this as a launcher. You'll have some different tips here on how to use this software. Read them carefully. Then we can go to the drivers page. On the drivers page, we can click the check for updates button. This will now search for driver updates and after some searching, it found out we have, this, uh, we have the newest drivers already. I now go to settings and here in settings, we can scroll down a little bit and you can see that it will notify me if I got new drivers available and you can also check the box under downloads to make it automatically download the drivers too. Well, I hope that this tutorial helped you installing your graphics drivers. And well, if this video did help you, then please leave a like down below and do subscribe for more future videos. Also, if you have any other problems with graphics drivers or any other computer problems, please do check the Tech Tutorial playlist. This is Jimodesm Total Nerdery Channel, officially signing out.